Okay, today we're going to talk about installing Mini Conda, which is a boring but critical subject as we move on to install more awesome AI tools for our RTX 50 series GPU, be it RTX 5060, 5070, 5080, or 5090. Why I made this video is to ensure that we have a route here that I can always divert my viewers to come back and watch should they need to install Mini Conda for any future projects that require to be installed. At least I don't need to keep repeating the same info constantly in the future. I'm not a technical person, so I try to speak in layman terms. In short, Miniconda is a smaller version of Anaconda, which is a tool that helps you manage your AI project's environment so that there's little to no conflicts in the versions as you only install the requirements on its own Conda environment and activate it only when you wish to use it. Example, your system Python is version 3.10, but you're installing a project that needs uh, Python 3.12.9. Instead of installing another version of Python and conflicting between two versions in your system, you can use Miniconda to create a Conda environment on its own and install a separate version of 3.12.9 within that environment to use it only for that project. That way, your system Python remains undisturbed and you will not have as much conflicts. This is like using Python to create a virtual environment before installing your variable dependencies. The only difference between Miniconda and Anaconda is the size and many other tools included in the full version of Anaconda that you do not need if you are not a Python Pro or developing your own stuff. So if you are like me who just want to install AI tools as a user, Miniconda is more than enough in the long run. I hope with this, I have explained the reason why you need Miniconda in a simpler manner. Take note that I'm running this on a uh, Windows 11, so Linux and Mac is not applicable for this video. With this out of the way, let's carry on with the setup. But before that, I would appreciate a like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. First, search for Miniconda install in Google. Click the first link. Scroll down to Windows installation. Open the tab and click on anaconda.com slash download. Skip the registration and click download. Open up the file, right click, run as administrator. Next, I agree for all users. Press next after selecting your destination folder. Tick clear the package cache upon completion before clicking install. Once it's completed, you are done. Now to do some quick tests to see if your conda has been properly installed. Go to your desktop search bar, type cmd and you can type where conda or conda dash dash version. If you see that conda is not recognized, it means that conda is not set to path, meaning your PC system still doesn't know where your conda is located. So now we need to do this manually which allows us to understand what happens behind the scenes when we allow Miniconda to set its own path so it can be recognized in your own PC. First, you need to find where your Miniconda has been installed so you can know the path to set. Once you find the place which you installed your Miniconda, take note of the path and the address. Go to Windows search bar and type Edit Environment Variables. Click the control panel that you see Go to Environment Variables, System Variables box, click on Path so that it's highlighted, click on Edit, now click on New and paste the path of where you installed Miniconda in it. Next, click on New again. Paste the path of where you installed Miniconda, which you did earlier, but add in slash scripts. Click OK and OK again. Now let's test it out. Go to the search bar, type CMD and type where Conda. Next, type in Conda dash dash version. And you should see that your system has recognized your Miniconda. For further info, you can type in Conda info to see more. And that concludes the walkthrough on how to install Miniconda on your Windows 11 system. 
so that you can continue your installation of AI tools that require the conda command. If you are watching this video after being diverted from another of my installation video, you may proceed back to the original video to carry on your installation. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. Until then, I will see you when I see you.